So the idea is hatched how, when, where, why? You know, at first it was like, maybe if I wrote a book about this guy, I could get some of this stuff. Uh, but it turns out that like, I kept waiting to be shown like the mystery supply, but it doesn't exist. It's so rare that the Van Winkles themselves barely have it. And I just started going up there and hanging out with him and I wasn't sure what the book was going to be. And I'm sure you've experienced this. The conversations I was having about, you know, he was going through a cancer fight. I just uh, had our first child and the conversations we were having about his father and my father and the kind of parent I wanted to be, those felt as much of the part of the story of the whiskey as the whiskey itself. And, and so the book was born. It's, a, it's sort of a winding together of the history of the Van Winkle brand and of Kentucky bourbon with, you know, like my wife read it for the first time and I, I was trying to tell her my grand literary theory for it. And she was like, oh, you wrote Eat, Pray, Love for dads. <laughs> and I was like, damn it. Like that's not, don't tell anyone that. <laughs> like it's not, you're gonna kill my, any street cred I had is gone. Uh, but uh, it really is an exploration of inheritance and of you know, the things that, the things we inherit from our fathers and the things we wanna pass on to our children.